Welcome into The Grind, your inside look at Raging Cajun Baseball. I'm your host, Greg Larner. All right, let's take a look back. This is our second video of the weekend. We don't have to look too far back. Cajuns played LSU at home at the Teague on Wednesday night, and they took down the number 13 in the nation, Tigers, to move to five and seven on the year. And I'll tell you, how about Colton Schmidt? Eight innings pitch, five hits, five strikeouts, one run, didn't walk a single batter. He was solid the entire way through. Cajuns, eighth inning down, one nothing. The old double squeeze. Coach Robe loves that so much. And you do it with the four hitter. Hunter Castle laying down a beauty. And I'll tell you, the pitcher feels that ball back to home plate, allows Daniel LaHare to score that second run. If the first baseman had fielded that ball, I bet you Daniel LaHare doesn't, doesn't, doesn't score. And the Cajuns may not win this game. Logan Stolke, he hadn't given up a hit all season long. Gets the first two outs in the ninth. Walks a guy, hits a guy. RBI double, his first hit given up of the season. Tigers tie it, we go to the bottom of the 10th, and it was the youngster, Jonathan Windham. Bases loaded, and I'll tell you what, he proved it at the plate. Dumped one into center field, base hit, game winner for the Cajuns. They go on to beat LSU four to three. A lot of excitement out there at the Teague. It was the third highest attendance total in the Teague's history, just about five and a half thousand. It was an electric atmosphere out there last night at Russo Park. All right, let's take a look at your grinders of the week. And yes, I said grinders. We've got two of them this week. Colton Schmidt first and foremost. Like I had mentioned, the eight innings, one run, five strikeouts, no walks. Was in line for the win until Stokey ended up blowing the game late, but he deserved a win in this one, eight strong innings. And then how about, obviously, Jonathan Windham, the freshman, only his second hit of the season, and boy, it was a big one to lift the Cajuns to a win over LSU. Honorable mention, Jack Burke, seven shutout innings against number 12 Vanderbilt last weekend on Saturday. All right, let's take a look at what the Cajuns have coming up this weekend. It's another big series on the horizon. They'll be facing the South Alabama Jaguars, who are currently seven and six on the year, and for those of you who we think this is a conference series. This actually is not a conference series. The Eastern Division in baseball has one more team than the Western Division. That's where the Cajuns play. They don't play one Eastern Division team in conference every single year. Happened to be South Al this year, but this is such a good rivalry that the two head coaches said, hey, we got an open weekend here. You got an open weekend here. Let's play each other. So they set up a three game series and it's coming at you this weekend. The South Alabama Jaguars currently on a five game losing streak. A player to watch out for this, this in this series, Travis Swaggerty, this junior center fielder. He is phenomenal. He's hitting 390 this year, leads the team in home runs with three. He was a preseason All-American and the coaches pick four player of the year in the Sun Belt Conference. And he's expected to be a first round pick in the MLB draft coming up in June. Now you can hear every single game on KPL 96.5, KPL 96.5.com this weekend. Friday's game you will also be able to hear on Cox Sports Television or you'll be able to watch it on Cox Sports Television. Friday at 6.30 start, Saturday 2 o'clock start, and Sunday a 1 p.m. start. And that's an inside look at your Raging Cajun baseball team. On The Grind, I'm your host, Greg Larner. If you're enjoying The Grind so far, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up in every single video that we have here on our ESPN 1420 YouTube page. And speaking of that, why don't you keep up with us? Subscribe to our YouTube page. Ton of great content from the Raging Cajuns, the Pelicans, high school football, everything we've got here for you on ESPN 1420.